Hello, I'm Sheriff Matt Kendall. I recently spoke about my views on how legal marijuana grows in our county. That sparked a lot of conversations online and offline. I'm sure this won't be the last time that I speak about marijuana and the various ways it affects our community. At the end of this video, let me know if you have any questions on what the difference is between legal and illegal marijuana growing in the county. The Mendocino County Sheriff's Office is continuing to receive calls from the Round Valley area regarding a large-scale marijuana operations. The callers include tribal members and the Round Valley Tribal Council. The concerns continue to be surrounding non-tribal persons growing marijuana on tribal and non-tribal lands. The thrust of the concerns is fear and intimidation and tribal resources being taken. Many of these sites contain armed and dangerous people. This is nothing less than armed robbery of resources. These resources include timber, water, minerals, grasslands, ranch lands, and forest, as well as pollution and environmental degradation. The concerns also include the disturbances of archeological sites and the desecration of sacred Native American burial grounds. This morning, the Mendocino County Sheriff's Office assisted by the Mendocino Major Crimes Task Force and the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, served a search warrant near Agency Road and Barnes Lane in the Cobolo area. This location is tribal lands which have documented archeological sites upon them. The Mendocino County Sheriff's Office is committed to our service to all persons in the Round Valley area. We need to look at what's truly occurring in this area and begin dealing with it head on. These growth sites are being run by drug trafficking organizations. Greed is causing destruction of resources and an invasion by non-natives onto tribal lands. Currently, it is clear that these drug trafficking organizations are hell-bent on destroying our future and our past, all at the same time. The days of high profit in the marijuana industry may be a thing of the past, which makes many of these groups resort to extreme violence to protect their operation even hiring armed guards to be in and around the perimeters of their grow sites. In an effort to maximize their profits, these organizations are using fertilizers and poisons to the extreme, polluting the land and water. When they go, they leave a toxic wasteland and where there was once grazing, pastures, and rivers filled with fish, there's now nothing. We've also received alarming information that we're currently investigating that there may be human trafficking involved in some of these illegal operations. I know you heard a lot of this before, but here's something that I hope you'll really listen to. I encourage anyone that is currently operating an illegal grow to turn around and go through the proper channels and make it a legal business. I know it's a lot harder than just crossing your fingers and hoping you won't get caught. I realize getting through the red tape can be overwhelming, but once you're a responsible business owner, you won't ever have to worry about seeing me at your door. Please understand, my goal is to end this problem, not to simply slow it down. But I'm always interested in hearing what the community has to say. So I invite you to give me a call at the office and drop me a note. Send me an email. If you have any ideas, anything that we could do better, please let me know. Once again, thank you for supporting our communities and for supporting the Sheriff's Office.